Hello everyone, welcome to Old School Chemistry. Today we're going to do a topic from Alex. This is understanding hydrogen atoms in a skeletal structure. So a little bit of background on this. Remember, on skeletal structures, the hydrogen is invisible. Here's the premise. When we have our vertices, the angles, those represent carbons, and it's understood that every carbon will have enough hydrogens so that it has a total of four bonds, okay? That's just the convention that we have. Uh, let's take a look at this problem right here. Uh, so for example, that vertice right there, that dip, that's understood to be a carbon. That's understood to be a carbon. And that carbon is going to have enough hydrogens so that it has a total of four bonds. Now on this particular Alex topic, you're either going to be asked to replace hydrogen with chlorine or vice versa, replace chlorine with hydrogen. And I will give you a warning. There will always be some hydrogens that are hidden that you're going to have to look and find. Uh, so this one in particular, it says, um, suppose all hydrogen atoms in this molecule are replaced by chlorine atoms. Uh, well, it's going to be pretty easy to see the hydrogens that are attached to the nitrogen. You're like, oh, I've got that. Let's do this. We've got our nitrogen on my chlorine here, double bonded. And then we have a double bonded oxygen, nitrogen. Easy, replace that hydrogen and this hydrogen with our chlorines. But then we need to go back and check on our carbons. Are there any hydrogens? The way you do this, count bonds and then make sure carbon has a total of four bonds. So I look right here, this carbon is going to sense one, two, three bonds, double bond to nitrogen, single bond to another carbon. It needs one more hydrogen. It's understood that there's a hydrogen there. So I'm now going to draw a chlorine. And a little side note, on the valleys, you always go away. So the uh, chlorine is going to be written going down. If this had been a peak, if it had been like that, I would draw going away from the peak the chlorine would go up, okay? We always draw away from the valleys and the peaks when we're doing our um, skeletal structures. Let's check this carbon right here. It has one, two, three, four. Oh, it's full, has a full octet. There are no hydrogens bonded to that. And so you would draw this for your Lewis dot structure. Let's do another one. Let me take explanation, more practice, okay. So this one says, suppose all of the chlorine atoms in this molecule are replaced with hydrogen atoms. Okay, so we're, it's opposite. And you'll find on this, it's typically every other one. You either replace hydrogen for chlorine or chlorine for hydrogen. Uh, on this one, let me just write out if I literally replaced the hydrogen and wrote, excuse me, replaced the chlorine and wrote hydrogen on it. Look like this. We've got our beautiful, Sorry, that's a little bit wonky. <laughs> oh, we'll redo it. <laughs> uh, we've got our beautiful cyclohexane. That chlorine becomes a hydrogen, and that chlorine becomes a, hyd oops, becomes a hydrogen. Well, remember, we don't write the hydrogen. So this, the correct skeletal structure, is that becomes a hydrogen, I erase it that hydrogen is understood to be there. And here, I don't have to write that hydrogen. It's understood to be there. And that's our final answer. Let me show you, let me justify this. So you've got a carbon right here, okay? It is sensing one, two, three bonds, which reality, there's actually a hydrogen right here. That's not seen, that's just our convention. We know that there are enough hydrogen, so every carbon has four bonds. Well, if I make this, a uh, the chlorine changes to a hydrogen, look at that right there. This carbon senses one, two bonds, a bond to carbon, a bond to carbon, which means there are two hydrogens on it. It's actually hydrogen and hydrogen like that, but we don't write it. It's understood to be there. Let's check this other one uh, on the left-hand side. So this carbon right there, it is going to have one, two bonds, which means there's actually two hydrogens on that. I would have a hydrogen like this and this, two hydrogens. Now, if that becomes a hydrogen, we don't have to write it. It's this, that carbon, 
you only see one bond, one carbon-carbon bond, which means that actually has three hydrogens. It has one, two, three hydrogens, but we don't have to write those. Uh, you will find as you're doing these where you're replacing the chlorine with the hydrogen, the molecule looks and feels smaller, but that's okay. That's the whole point of skeletal structures, to save us time that the hydrogens are understood to be there so we don't take the time to write them. Okay, very good. Have a wonderful day. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe Old School Chemistry. And